Now I'm here with Dr. Isam Bukhari, the CEO of Manga Productions, one of Saudi's leading games companies. Welcome, Dr. Isam. Hello, good afternoon, it's my pleasure. Good to have you here. So, Manga Productions is a great example of a success story in KSA's games industry. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the company and, and how it got to the level it's at today? Manga Productions is the Saudi company. We are a subsidiary of Mohammed bin Salman, MISC Foundation. We exist to inspire the heroes of tomorrow by producing and creating animations, video game, and comics. Cool. And, and how, how did the sort of the company come about in terms of its, its founding and kind of, could you tell us a little bit about its journey and how it's kind of, I guess, how it's grown to the current state that it's at? Certainly. We believe that in Arab world, we are facing a number of challenges. Uh, one of them is the lack of high quality content from the region, even its animation, even its video game. The other challenge is we are lacking of opportunities for talents. We have many talents, but they do not have real opportunities where they can practice and where they can develop their skills in the region. The third challenge is, let me call it the wrong representation of Arab culture in the creative content, even it's a video game, even it's an animation. So to overcome all those issues, we believe that manga productions should produce high quality, attractive, creative content, even a video game, animation, comic, that can compete with global level of leading studios in the world. And we are very proud of our previous success stories with the Journey Movie, Future Folk Tales animation series, and other partnership projects we had in the video game industry. Okay, and, and can you tell me a little bit more about some of those, some of those projects? What have been you know, some of the biggest things that, that Manga Productions has worked on that you're proud of? And what are some of the things that you've got kind of going on at the moment? So I think Manga Productions is in a unique position in the region because you will not find a lot of studios that produce video games, animations, comics in the same time. So we had our TV show, Future Folk Tales, which talks about Saudi family living in the future. We produced that animation in a collaboration with the Toy Animation, a leading animation studio in Japan, which produced One Piece, Dragon Ball, and Captain Subas and other famous uh, IPs. This show achieved more than 100 million views globally. It was the first show from Arab world to be in Chinese platforms, such as Tencent, Aichi. It was uh, broadcasted in Japanese TVs in more than 15 Japanese platforms and other regions. Uh, we used two characters from that uh, animation show to produce two mobile games, uh, Gold Cave and uh, Dafer, the runner. And we were very uh, happy to have uh, our two games, the top 10 in terms of downloads in countries such as UK, Ireland, Astoria, in addition to Saudi Arabia, of course, Egypt and other Asian countries. So I think here it comes where you can utilize your characters in games, in other uh, merchandise forms, as we did with the Journey movie with uh, Virgin Megastore, for example. And of course, we do have the Journey movie, which is also uh, the first ever Saudi Japanese animation movie. It was the first Saudi movie to use the technology of 4DX. We had it in 10 countries in the region. In addition to Japan, the feedback was amazing. It, uh, it could have the top 10 in Shahid platform after uh, the theatrical release. And uh, yes, the journey is only the beginning. <laughs> okay. And now, obviously, you know, a big, a big part of our conference is everything to do with Vision 2030 and how Saudi has this real ambition to, to become a player in the, in the global video games industry. How, how excited are you about that future, given the sort of investment and that real kind of desire to turn Saudi into this gaming kind of player? 
if you look to Saudi Arabia five years ago, no one will believe that this is Saudi Arabia at the moment. In all fields, industry, economy, uh, quality of life, uh, the cultural evolution that we are seeing in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so I believe the future will be very bright because we believe in our people. We believe in our leadership and the public sector is investing heavily. And I know there is a high awareness in the importance of technology transfer in, in terms of capability building in the field of video game industry and other industries as well. Uh, for example, uh, last month, we were very proud to participate in Silicon Slop in Utah. Uh, we announced our uh, new game experience, Al Ula Adventure which we produced in a collaboration with our American partners, Spark XR. We call it traveling without traveling. So the user can go inside that pot, feel the heat, feel the motion, uh, the wind, and experience Al-Ula as they are traveling to the region. So I, I believe this is the future of video games. And as Manga Productions, we will complete working on those fields because we are investing in the future. We don't want to start from everyone started. We want to start from where everyone ends. And together we can design and build the future. Okay, and you, you kind of, you touched upon partnerships there. And um, obviously you've announced a, a big partnership with Telltale Games quite recently. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, how it came about and what that will involve? The, the most important aspect of that partnership, in addition to the investment and the co-development, that we will provide opportunity with the uh, creative teams in Telltale Games. And this is what we are doing at Manga Productions in all our projects. This is what we did with Wildworks, other American mobile game country in a feral mobile game. Uh, this is what we did with Square Enix, we sent Saudi students to Japan to have internship program at Square Enix in Tokyo. Our talents participated in, in one of, of the versions of uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. So the producer of Final Fantasy fourteen creative team visited Saudi Arabia. Programs with Saudi talents. Uh, this is what we did with SNK, for example. Uh, we opened an, a competition, online competition. More than 300 talents participated from all Arab world. The winner was at that time, 22 years old Saudi lady called Mashal Al Barak from Al Qasim. Her character Najd, when the producer of King of Fighters game, Mr. Oda, saw that character, he did like this and said, Isam, a Japan will never think about a design like that. Yeah. So, we had that investment deal and we had Najd in King of Fighters. Uh, people in, in the region globally loved Najd. Even in 2018, the eSport event of King of Fighters, the winner in Japan was using Najd. Hmm. So this is a great example how you can believe in your talents, invest in your talents, invest in the originality. Mm, that makes sense. How how important would you say that is for just like inspiring people and providing, you know, sort of role models for people in the Middle East to be like, you know, I, I can see myself represented in these games. I want to get into the industry. Like how how crucial would you say that is? Yes. Uh, let me say something here. I believe in, in Saudi Arabia, in, in all Arab countries, our asset is, is not the oil, is not the natural gas. It's our human resources. And when I'm talking about manga productions, I believe that our talents, our human resources are not the most important asset we do have in the company. Our talents, our human resources are the only resource we do have in manga productions. We believe in them, we will invest in them. And I'm very proud to say that 60 5% of all employees in manga productions are graduates of our internship programs or mentorship programs we implemented with our global partners. So 
here you can see the results of investing in talents. We are very proud that Manga Productions this year uh, had the certificate of best places to work in Saudi Arabia. So I believe that providing a work environment that supports the creativity, that enhance people uh, to do the best, to do their best and to invent more is the job of the leader in any company. Okay, and talking about you know different countries and the sort of the partnerships you had with sort of Square Enix and SNK, how important is it to kind of collaborate with with other sort of other countries and other companies around the world to help get your sort of your sales out there more and get your kind of products and your games and and your kind of talent out there into the global space? Yes, uh, in Manga Productions, we are very happy that we have a number of projects that are one hundred percent produced in Saudi Arabia, even small games, comics, and short animations. However, in the same time, uh, we believe that there are countries who had more than 70 years or 80 years of history and experience in the creative industry. So working with those companies, with the condition of technology transfer, with the condition of talent development, will be a shortcut and smart way to build our own capabilities. If you look at the oil industry, for example, in Saudi Arabia, Aramco started, and even Sabic started with joint ventures with global companies. And by the time we started the Saudization, we started investing in our people. Now those huge companies are led by Saudis and led by Saudi talents. And indeed, Sabic, Aramco in the oil and petrochemical industries are now innovative companies that are producing patents. So I believe we are in the same path of Aramco and Sabic in the creative industry sector in Saudi Arabia and Aramco. Okay, and you kind of, you know, you touch upon that sort of the cultivation of, of regional talent and the sort of all the sort of internships and the schemes and the mentorship programs you work on. Can you just tell, tell me a little bit more about some of those and, and go into a bit of detail about how you, you really sort of work with kind of the grassroots to get the industry going from the ground up? So as I told you in, in our story with SNK, with Square Enix, Wildworks, Telltale, and, and even in the comic, let, let me tell you an interesting story about the comic of Bissa that we released uh, last September in the collaboration with Manga Arabia Saudi Research and Media Group. Uh, it was published in, in a magazine in Arab world. It was distributed to all public schools in Saudi Arabia, in elementary and uh, intermediate schools. Uh, it had more than 1.5 million views. And what the interesting part is, Bissa and other Saudi IPs had higher rating comparing to other Japanese IPs. So I think this is a great example how you can compete globally. And the great thing about Bissa comic is it's 100% done in Saudi Arabia. And the team are the result of our internship programs we did with toy animation in Japan, with uh, KGS in Malaysia. So we will do the same thing in, mobile, in, in video game. We'll do the same thing in animation. If you invest, you will have the return. And the best and smartest invest meant bit uh, ever is investing in your own people and on that on that subject of investment obviously you know obviously we, we touched upon you know the wider plans for vision 2030 but in terms of the current sort of infrastructure development that's happening in, in saudi to really bolster that in industry are there any kind of areas that you're really excited about in particular or any kind of future potential you see where things could really really help put saudi on the map as a kind of global player I think the great thing is uh, now Saudi Arabia is going forward the Saudi 2030 vision. I graduated from Japan. I spent 19 years of my life in Japan studying the Japanese economical, economic miracle after the Second World War II. Uh, I believe now we are in the middle of Saudi America. Saudi uh, economic development miracle. Uh, 
and I believe in 2030, we will tell the world our story, how we made this great success in Saudi Arabia. It's in all fields. Yesterday I attended uh, the announcement of film industry strategy in Saudi Arabia. So the film strategy is, is going uh, in a great way. I attended many sessions and workshops discussing the development and challenges of video game industry in Saudi Arabia. You can see how public sector is aware. You can see how private sector is interested in, in investing in those areas. You can see the awareness of academic sector. They would like to work with manga productions. So we help them in improving their academic programs. You see the talents. I think the materials are there. The equation is ready. What we need is to go for implementation. And I believe the future is very bright for the video game industry in Saudi Arabia and the region. Okay, and now you, you mentioned there that you spent nearly nearly 20 years in, in Japan. I'd be very interested to know what that was like and how much of that you know helped inform or inspire you in terms of everything you're doing in, in gaming, because obviously Japan is such a such a video game superpower. How much of, of that sort of experience has affected the way you think about gaming and your kind of interest in the in the subject? So I believe one of the most important lessons I learned from my study in Japan is the importance of originality and the importance of teamwork. So if you look at the Japanese development model, they didn't apply, for example, the Western model and change their culture. In Japan, universities are teaching Japanese language. You can see how they believe and they love their traditions. And that was the secret behind their creativity and their originality. At the same time, our Japanese friends really believe in teamwork and the importance of taking care of your people. And this is what I'm trying to apply here at Manga Productions, telling my, my team members that if you would like to succeed, that will come from our originality, from our own creativity, not from importing creativity from other regions. Of course, collaborations, uh, partnership is very important, but teamwork and originality will be the success factors in our story. Okay, and how, how important do you think it is to, to make sure that you kind of keep the talent in the country and how do you go about doing that? Because I guess, you know, with so many schemes and initiatives and people kind of learning these skills, obviously we don't want them to sort of go off to other countries and kind of you're losing the sort of talent pool. How do we kind of get to a position where there's an ecosystem in Saudi that people who are getting into the games industry will want to stay in the country and sort of work there in that industry? I think what is great about Saudi Arabia is we do not face the problem of brain drain or talent drain. No, we are a country in the position of brain gain. Saudi Arabia is a country that attracts talents from all, from all the globes. Uh, so for me, even when we send our students for internship or mentorship, or even when we send our stu students to study abroad, it's like sending your players to the Premier League or send them to Real Madrid and Barcelona. So they play, they have that experience, and then they will come to the national teams. So we are applying the same thing in Saudi Arabia. I believe Saudi Arabia will not face the problem of talents going abroad, no. We are building the environment, uh, putting the regulations that will attract global talents to come to Saudi Arabia and do their success stories and successful business in the country. Okay, and, and one of the things that's been very interesting sort of throughout the, the course of this conference and the people that, that I've been speaking to is there's obviously a lot of independent developers throughout the whole of Saudi. You know, there's a, it seems like there's a really vibrant games developer community in the country. And I just wondered what your thoughts were on that. Do you, are you quite excited by the prospects there of just people going out and kind of doing their own thing on their own just because they're really passionate? Yes, I think uh, we have great talents. What we need for them is to educate them, 
to empower them, give them the right tools. So we should support them to change their video game development from a hobby to a professional business. And this will come through mentorship, through incubation, through giving them the confidence that Saudi companies, Arab countries can succeed in a global market. I think those successful stories are what we need uh, to inspire those talents in the region. Okay, and you, you, you talk about those sort of success stories and kind of really inspiring people. Looking forward now, what would you say is the kind of the dream scenario for, for Saudi Arabia with regards to Vision 2030 and, and gaming? Where, where would you sort of hope to see the country in 2030 in the global gaming space? 2030, I believe Saudi Arabia will be the leading country for video game industry in the region. I can say that for sure. In the same time, we'll start to be able to compete even with not all our game games and all our IPs, but we'll have a number of IPs that are globally well recognized. I think this is what will be there in 2030. I believe at that time, you will find a number of leading global companies opening their branches and studios in Saudi Arabia because Creativity has no country and has no limits. And by working with Saudi talents uh, in the video game industry, animation industry, creative industry, you will have fresh ideas, new concepts that will enhance the video game development and business in global markets. Okay, and in terms of, in terms of that sort of creativity. I'd be very interested to know what your own kind of inspirations were, um, you know, in terms of gaming, what the sort of what are the sort of games that, that you like? What are the sort of franchises that have kind of inspired you along the way, if any? There are many. There are many IPs, many games that I really like. But personally, on, on, on my personal level, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of Captain Tsubasa, a Japanese famous animation that has mm. many uh, successful and famous game because I think Captain Tsubasa is interesting in terms of starting from a manga that went into an animation, then video game, then went into uh, merchandise and experiences. I think this is the story that we need to see in a near future in Saudi Arabia and Arab world that move the video game into and comprehensive entertainment industry. I hope that we can see the Disney of Middle East very soon. So with regards to incorporating your culture into the games you make and the projects you work on, how do you go about doing that? And, and how important is that to you? Sure. Uh, for example, if you look at Najd, the character design uh, with a unique Saudi Abaya, the background, the fighting arena in Al Masma Castle in Riyadh. Applying those elements uh, was very attractive to the, the global players. The same thing we did with our animations like the Jeremy Asati. You can imagine that manga productions team produced more than 60 videos just explaining body language in Arab world. Because the facial expressions, uh, hand movement in Arab world is different than what is there in Japan or in, in the US or in Europe. So uh, taking care of those, those small details, even the food, the dress, uh, even the color of the skin, all of that make our IPs very unique, even for our uh, local regional audiences in addition to the global audiences. So I think exporting culture is a very important element in our job that we do at Manga Productions. Great. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Sounds great. Thank you very much, Mr. Chris. It was my great honor to meet you. Yeah. Likewise. Likewise. Yeah. Really interesting stuff.